Content warning. This episode contains descriptions of physical and mental abuse, voyeurism, sexual assault, and suicidal thoughts. There is also mention of a very harmful stereotype of LGBT people. This is not meant to be reflective of any version of reality or the author's own views. This is meant as a depiction of the character's own internalized homophobia. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, Debbie, you got this. What happened, Debbie? I just... I told you I killed him, right? Yeah. Magic. Magic. It was chaos magic. I used it to make his fucking brain explode. It was... Why did you kill him, Debbie? I've only told two other people the whole story. And one of them is dead. Debbie, I'm... I'm not gonna tell anyone. I just... I know, I know. I don't... I don't really trust you, though. But... God damn it, I gotta say something. I can't keep this in forever. I just... Let me find a place to sit down. It was when I was in the army. I, but you already knew that part. Mm-hmm. I... I never really got a, along with the other people in the army. I was... Even right now, I, I feel the compulsion to say it's because I was a wreck, because I was... Because I was the... Because I was just bad at everything, but that's... That's just what... That's just... It's okay. It's okay. T- take your time. That's just what people told me. Bad people. People I shouldn't have listened to. And then... It was... I had this sergeant... Who... He made my life miserable. He did everything in his power to... Just fuck with me. Mm-hmm. Well, but also, like, tried to convince me, and mostly succeeded at convincing me it was for my own good, you know? Just trying to build me up. He may, He's the reason I had a bad knee before I joined, before I got the B. He ran me until my, he permanently damaged my knee. And then... But that's the kind of person he was. And then... It was... He told me once that he wanted me to kill kill myself. Jesus. Because it'd be less paperwork than discharging me. Oh my fucking god. And then... I found out later that, I mean, I found out from other people later that there have been previous suicides in his units. Fucking hell, Debbie. But he obviously messed with the wrong person. (laughs) He messed with the wrong person there. (laughs) 
the thing that caused me to snap. We were on exercises, and like I said, I didn't really get along with everyone, even even the other fem women, the other women in the army. Mm -hmm. They, because. Again, it was all clickish. There's everyone. It seems like everybody has the has the maturity of high school, no matter how old they are in the army. You know, and like it was when we are we were on exercises and we were sleeping in a tent and tent and there was shower facilities and we had to follow the buddy system. You know. I didn't, but I didn't have any buddies. No one would, like, go with me to the showers when I needed to, and I think it's because they probably knew. They, I think they knew at the time that I was, I mean, I admit, sometimes I, lo sometimes I looked at them, at the other girls, and... Oh, I didn't, I couldn't help it, you know? Even at just a glance, they knew. No one said anything. You just didn't talk about it at that time, you know? Don't ask, don't tell. Mm-hmm. But, so, I guess I probably go out of a while without showering. I guess I hadn't showered in a really long time, you know? Mm hmm. So. <sighs> I probably smelled pretty bad. But. No, there I go, try to blame myself again. Once you get that in your head, it never really goes away. Look, don't. Don't worry about that. Just tell me what. What happened. However, however you feel about it. So I was laying there one night, I was about to go to sleep, and suddenly it's, I, I felt like something heavy hit me in my face. It was the keys. It was the keys to the showers. Uh, was, Sergeant Davis was on, was on fire guard that night. It's somebody who sets up weights, but, mm -hmm. but like, but anyway, it doesn't matter. They had the keys. They threw them at me and told me. He said people have been complaining about how much I, how much I stank, that I needed to go take a shower. And he said. And I looked around. And I was like going to ask somebody, but he just said, he said, just go. And he said in that sergeant voice that, I. I jumped up like a dog, you know? It's the th that's the thing. They train you. It's, they train you. Mm hmm To react to that without thinking. I didn't know that his fire guard shift was just about over. And... He... <laughs> I was I was in there. I, I was showering by myself, and I heard the door open. And you know what? It's not what you not what you think. I know what you're thinking right now, but that that's not what happened, and that's not what happened. For a while, I kind of wished that. I, Bad as it sounds. As bad as it sounds sometimes, I would think that would have been better. How fucked up is that? So. What did happen, Debbie? Sometimes I think that would have been, would have been better, because then. I would have. I would have. A reason for it to affect me like it did. 
But I guess, you know, I've been kind of working through it, and the reason is, yeah, I guess I had enough. Right. Sorry. Just trailed off. He came in. And I was scared. I was cornered, like, between the tile walls, the stall. I couldn't get out. And what you're thinking, I thought, I thought he, I, I thought he was going to do that to me. I thought he was, I thought he was, I said, I said, don't rape me. You know what he did? What did he do? He laughed. He said, I wouldn't. He said, I would rape your nasty ass with another man's dick. I'm, he says, I'm just here to make, sure you, to make sure you get clean. And he stood there. I was, par- I was paralyzed. I was still so afraid. And he shouted, go. Start cleaning yourself. I'm not going to be here all night. You're getting my boots wet. I did. I washed myself while he watched. He made sure I got everything. And then he just left. He never touched me. I... I admit, at that moment... I wanted, I wanted to die. I thought about it. As I sat there in the stall, I thought about just doing it right there. I had, I had a pocket knife in my uniform. But I changed my mind. The sort, I, I hated him far too much for that. I hated him. And so that's what I did. I, I, I looked online. I bought stuff. As soon as, I, as soon as I got back from the field, I started looking online, buying stuff. Just cheap stuff from like shady online stores and Walmart. <laughs> and I looked at forums with, with, you know, bleeding skulls or Per, or per, or glittery unicorn gifts at the top. They spelled magic with a K. Hmm. And I threw something together. And it worked. I watched him. I watched. Did I bury the stuff at the crossroads like it told me to and then when we started we did our run as soon as he stepped there he started to stagger he saw he started to stagger some like he was bleeding in his brain and he was surrounded by medics but you know what he took all of our cell phones first, left them in a bin. Nobody could call for help. Not that I think most of the people there would have. He, di- he died. As he died, he looked in my eyes. And you know what? I think he knew. He knew it was me. Somehow he knew. And I, I enjoyed every second of his death. How fucked up is that? How does that, does that that make me a monster? (sighs) Ah.
something. Ugh. Ugh. It's just like, that's, that's what's been bothering me this whole time. I've been... Because... I don't know, it feels like every time I kill... Sometimes it feels like it's just killing him again. Does that make sense? I don't know, Debbie. Ugh. 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 Okay. You think I'm a monster, don't you? I don't know, Debbie. Ah! Something is wrong. God damn it, Debbie. <sighs> you don't have any room to judge me. Not after what you did, your sister's ah, sister's brain, and lying to me and violating my mind and. Mm, I think I enjoyed any of that. Uh, uh, something's wrong. Debbie? Good. Uh, Fuck. Uh, oh my god, Debbie! I can't, I can't move. Uh, Debbie! Oh my god, no, no! 